Welcome, South Carolina. Thank you for joining in. Got a few moments before we get started at the top of the hour. Uh, if you have individuals that uh, you've shared this information, you want them to get plugged in, let them know that we will be getting started in the next few moments. We want to give them the opportunity to definitely get plugged in and get connected. Boston, Massachusetts, how you doing, Miss James? Good to see you. Mr. Mahomes, how you doing, sir? Miss Parks, how are you? Miss Bell Nickerson, a pleasure. How you doing, Miss Smith? Good to see you. How you doing, Miss Dawson? Miss McManon, good to see you. Nikita, Natika, I'm sorry. Marvin, glad to have you, brother. How you doing, Benita? Miss Sanders, how are you? Always a pleasure. Ms. Boykins, how you doing? Representing VA. What did they say? Two up, two down? Paris, how's it going, brother? Ms. Boston, how are you? Glad you made it. Definitely want to shout out, uh, shout you out for doing some phenomenal things, uh, hitting one of our recent new gold builders. So we definitely want to congratulate you on that uh, accomplishment and that feat. Miss Queen, how you doing? How you doing, Miss Coleman? Carlos Winston, gentlemen doing some great, great things. How you doing, Nikki? Good to see you. We have still a few moments for the top of the hour. <clears throat> Miss Miles, how you doing? How you doing, Miss Simmons? Good to see you. We want to welcome everybody that is joining us from all around the country. Mr. Newman, it's going to be on fire tonight. How you doing, Miss Simmons? How you doing, Miss Ward? Welcome. Miss Colbreth, always a pleasure. Mr. Newman, we got about 60 seconds, and we get the privilege and pleasure of bringing this information uh, to these individuals that are plugging in with us on tonight. Uh, and we're let's just have a little fun tonight, right? How you doing, Ms. Stantham? Ms. White, how are you? Thank each of you for, for joining. Ms. Ward, we want to say congratulations on making a very uh, smart choice and decision. How you doing, Jackie? Uh, my twin right there. How you doing, Ms. Pride? Ms. Parker, Akron, Ohio in the house. How you doing, Peggy? Ms. Gaskin? Well, we're going to kick off. It's now the top of the hour. It is 10 o'clock, and we definitely want to be respectful of your time. My name is Damien Goins. I will be one of your co-hosts on tonight, and it does my heart good to know that we get the opportunity to give people some information, motivation, uh, for them to be able to make an informed and an educated decision about the direction of their life. And so I don't get to do this by myself. I get to lock arms and present this with my brother in success, my brother from another mother, right? This gentleman... Uh, and me started our careers out in the field of education around the same time. Uh, we got our principalships in the same year, uh, and we've been leading schools uh, for almost a decade now, Mr. Newman, right? Helping to elevate uh, the, the education that children get, but also build the capacity of the adults and build their pedagogy. And so not only my colleague in the field of education, uh, but my brother in success here, Changing Lives, a part of this financial freedom crusade, helping families recognize that you can have the things that you dreamed about and you can have them today. And so I want to introduce to some, present to others, none other than my personal sponsor, uh, Mr. Nate Newman. How are you, sir? Oh, man, I'm, I'm flat out excited about tonight. I can't wait to jump into the information. Uh, but like you said, man, we've known each other for a long time. Um, we, we've done some great things in the field of education, uh, but we have made the decision to do some great things inside of this industry that we call travel and that we also 
uh, called Network Marketing. So I'm excited to jump into it and share with the people uh, what's got us so pumped tonight. Absolutely. So tonight, uh, we want to have adult school. And so on tonight, we want you to participate, right? We see some, many of you have already put where you plugging in from. Uh, we see Athens, Georgia in the house. We see Fort Lauderdale in the house, Maryland, South Carolina, right? We got Texas in the building, Florida in the house, right? Uh, shout out to uh, that, that director, Mr. Bernard Hampton, plugging in, right? And so here's what I want each of you to do. Uh, just tell us what industry are you in? Myself and Mr. Newman, as we share, we're principals, been educators over two decades, right? And how many of you would just simply agree that children are different today, right? And so what we have found is uh, uh, we've been able to shape the minds of thousands of young people over our career. But how many of us know that we have met many adults that have been stagnant? And so on today, we're going to simply ask you to dream with us a little bit. How many of you can take it back when you were a young kid and you would tie the, 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 the either the pillowcase or the sheet around your neck and you would run around the house thinking you were Superman or Superwoman. You know, they back in the day, they used to think there used to be something called some under rouge, right? Where you can feel like a superhero. I'm just saying, take it back in the day, right? Myself and Mr. Newman actually sat down today, uh, broke bread, had lunch today. And in that location, we had a walk down memory lane for a moment. Did you know in that place, they had an old school Atari. Come on now. Some of y'all may not remember Atari with the one button. How many do y'all remember Pong? Come on now. Just the, the, the one thing. Then we got the Nintendo where if it got a little shaky, you had to blow into it and put it back in there to make it play. Now our young people have PlayStation 2 and 3. They have Xbox. You know, they have all these devices, the Wii, right, that has a Bluetooth capability that can follow what it is you're doing. So we've seen that transform. But you know what they also had in that location today when we sat in eight today? Did you know they had a floor model TV that worked? Come on now. Now you knew it took about seven to eight people to carry that floor model TV into that location. How many of y'all remember the floor? I'm just saying the floor model, the old school, I'm talking about the brown casing that you could put 15 flowers on top. I'm just saying, old school, to just have you reminisce. But if you go around the corner in that same location, how many of you know they got TVs mounted on the wall? What's our point to that? Is today we had an opportunity to see some past and we saw some current. The thing we want you to think around is, has your mindset about how you generate income revolutionized over your lifetime or has it been stagnant to one thing? See, on tonight, it is not gonna be quit your job night. But how many of you joining us tonight by just commenting in the comment section would be open to some supplemental income? Anybody, if you would be, oh, just put that's me. If you're open to some supplemental income. If you are, we're gonna simply share with you on tonight, as Mr. Newman alluded to, the travel industry. We're gonna share with you an industry called network marketing, which many of us are misconstrued and not clear about what that is. So we're gonna educate you a little bit about it, right? And how many of you understand leveraged income versus linear income? If not, we're gonna share that with you on tonight as well. But as we jump in, we're gonna give you just a little information for my research oriented folks about the travel industry. And so if you've ever said, hey, I wanna travel. In fact, before Mr. Newman shares, let me ask this question. How many of you, if you can go anywhere in the world, time and money wasn't an issue, would take a trip. If that's you, just type yes. If time and money wasn't an issue, would take a trip. I see you, LaVonda Thornton, got your hand. She got two hands up in the air, Mr. Newman. All right, so here's what I want y'all to think around. So many of you are saying, yes, you would take that trip. Where would you go? So here's, I want y'all to dream a little bit. You can go anywhere in the, around the globe that you wanted and Mr. Newman was picking up the check. Where would you go? Type that in the comment section for me. Aruba, Italy, Monaco. Okay, we're getting sexy with it. Africa, Dubai. Mr. Newman, they coming in so fast. Sweden, Greece, Hawaii. Okay, Bridget. Somebody, Bridget said Hawaii and Bor Bor. Rise out. 
come on. Crystal, you just, I don't even know where that's at, but it sounds like a place I want to go, right? Turks and Caicos, Hong Kong. And Mr. Newman, the, the, the answers are still coming in. So here's what I want y'all to think about. Did I have to convince you to want to go to those places? Absolutely not. The same way you would have to convince anyone else to go to their dream destination. But on tonight, we want you to, to sit back, relax, buckle your seat, keep all loose articles inside the vehicle at all times as we take this journey around the planet. So Mr. Newman, give us some background of why travel makes sense, but more importantly, why it makes sense right now. Oh, well, you've already alluded to it to some degree, Mr. Goins. I mean, travel is something that we call an anyway business. You don't have to convince people to do something that they already want to do or they're already doing, right? So all of you who put Spain, you put Fiji, you put Turks and Caicos, you know, the beautiful thing about this industry, along with this project that we're working on, guys, is that we don't have to go out and convince people to do what it is that we do, right? We make a living by living. Our job looks like most people's vacation. People say, well, why travel? It's not a lotion. It's not a potion. I don't have to convince you to try it. You don't have to stop using your current, uh, if you like Marriott, you can keep using Marriott. I'm not trying to convince you to use a different type of product. You can continue to use what you already love right? That's what I love about this industry. And then when people say, why travel? Well, travel's been around forever. So here's a question. How long has travel been around, Mr. Goins? It's been around forever. How long will it be around? Forever. I don't know about you, but I've been in, I've been in the airport pretty much every other weekend for about the last three to four months. And I haven't seen an empty airport yet. Matter of fact, I've seen overbooked flights more than anything. I, I see signs that say, please excuse our dust because we're expanding, right? Travel, there will never be a shortage of individuals who need our product. It's an $8 trillion industry, Mr. Gomes. And here's the, here's the beauty. It's projected to almost double inside of 10 years. And we're talking about trillion with a T. If trillion was a pool, how many know all of us would jump in whether we knew how to swim or not, right? Eight trillion projected to go to 15 trillion in 10 years. It's the number one research word or research category, I should say, online. And when you think about all the different things that you can look up online to be the number one research category, that's called a clue. They're building more cruise ships Right now, they've built more cruise ships in the last four years than they've built in the last 40. That's called a clue. The baby boomers and the millennials, these individuals are doing more travel than anyone else. The baby boomers are now at an age that they are retiring one person every 20 seconds for the next 20 years. And what do they want to do now that they're retiring? They want to travel. The millennials spent over $200 billion last year, right? They're going to, they're going to Thailand. Guys, I, I'm lucky if I go get some Thai food. They're going to Thailand? They're no longer content, you know, with going to Kings Dominion, Bush Gardens, or, or the road trip to Miami Beach. They want to see the world. They want to do it bigger and better than anyone has ever done it before. So when you're talking about why travel, Mr. Goins, those are just a few reasons for why travel. But let's talk about what actually happens when we become a travel professional. And I'm gonna throw it back to you. Absolutely. And so here's the key. Uh, Mr. Newman just shared with you uh, the ability to not just travel, right? But, but travel like an insider. Um, he also shared with you some history around travel, right? Trillion with a T? When was the last time you heard him talk about trillion? Right? So it's bigger than health and wellness. It's bigger than sports and entertainment. It's bigger than all of those industries. And so you may say to yourself, well, what does that mean for me? Well, our company pays 70 to 80% of any travel that is booked on your website or that you personally put together for a friend, family, or client. That's huge. Because what that simply means is that 
you get the lion's portion of the share. For every dollar in commission that comes in, the company will pay you 70, 70 cents and they'll keep 30 to run and operate the business. That's huge. We have partnerships, as Mr. Newman alluded to, with all the major vendors. There, we have no third parties that we split with. And so here's what I know. Uh, once again, this is going to be your time to participate. And if you're or one that have ever done this, I need you just to type guilty in the comment section, right? How many of you have ever in your adult life purchased travel online? If that's you, just put guilty. Okay, several of you, okay, uh-huh. So here's what I can share with you. You already do our business. You just do it pro bono. What we're saying is get compensated for what you're doing. Because see, when you open up those four or five different windows, you have Expedia, Orbitz, Priceline, Travelocity, you're looking to save 10 cents. You check out, it says taxes and fees. That means somebody got paid. Why not change that to say taxes and means so that you get paid? If you do the work, shouldn't you get paid? Because I know everybody on the line, you would not walk into work on tomorrow give them eight hours of labor and tell them to keep the check. You wouldn't do it. So stop doing that in travel, right? If you're gonna do the work, shouldn't you save money or make money? It just makes sense. And as I said, our company pays 70 to 80%. That's huge. So let's give you a few examples of what that income could look like for your home. How many of you know someone who travels frequently for business? Let's say you gave them your website, they went and they booked a hotel three times out of the month. When they went, stayed, did their business, how many of you would be open to 151 extra dollars this month? If that's you, just type me. If you would be open to getting a commission of $151. Now I know some of you may be on the line saying, I know I didn't get invited to hear about $151, but here's what I know. If you were washing your clothes and there was $151 in a pair of jeans that you didn't know, how many of you would be on Facebook talking about ain't God good? $151 still good in my house. What about if you're the organizer or orchestrator of your family reunion? What if you put together that trip, but instead of going to Houston or LA this year, you said, we wanna go on a cruise. You booked 20 cabins and that's a small family because some of y'all got 20 first cousins. You went cruising, had a great time. You met some cousins who you didn't know. You, you saw your auntie. How many of you would be all right when you got back if you generated a commission of $2,200? What would $2,200, what bills could that take off your table this month? Type that in the comment section for me. If you receive a commission of $2,200, what bills would that take off your table? Somebody said the credit card. Okay, Valerie. Car insurance, okay. The mortgage, see now we talking. Here's what I want y'all to think about. What if you help two of your friends book their family reunion? How many of you would be okay and open to the fact of simply paying your mortgage nine months out of the year? Because your commissions would take care of the other months. Would that give you some breathing room? Would that be able to take care of some student loan debt? What would that do for you? I just want you to begin dreaming. But let me give you a real life example of a young lady out of Atlanta, Georgia. Her son was a high, her son was a high school senior and they wanted to go on a senior class trip. Here's what I want y'all to think around. Who do you know that has high school children? Is it you? Is it your neighbor? Do you have a niece or nephew, a cousin who's in high school? The parents and this faculty knew she was in a travel business so they asked her, could she organize that? She said, absolutely, I can. So she put together that trip. She sent them to Mexico, 200 high school seniors and chaperones. Rhonda, you know the chaperones had to go, right? They had a great end to their high school career. But when they got back from that trip, do you know her commission was over $23,000, Bridget? What would you do if on tomorrow, a check ended up in your account for $23,000. How many of y'all taking the rest of the week off? If that just, okay, so taking the rest of the week off. Okay, Crystal, you said you out of there, right? So that's just, so once again, who do you know in high school? 
Let me give you another example. And once again, we told you, keep all loose articles inside the vehicle at all times as we take this journey around the planet. What about if you knew someone, like a lady that we know, she was referred a client. This gentleman was the president of a national bikers club. They said they wanted to come to Myrtle Beach for the weekend, and but they needed to reserve over 950 hotel rooms. Could she help them out? She said, absolutely. So Wendy, she got on the phone, she called our partners, she secured the rooms. They came down on the Yamahas, the Suzuki's and the Yamahas. They stayed, they fellowship, they had a great time. They went back to their respective cities. Her commission on that one booking for that National Bikers Club, are y'all ready? Was over $62,000. Now, why is that profound? Because you know that's more than the average educator makes across this country. In a year, she made in one booking from the comforts of her home, sitting on her couch with her pink furry slippers. What would you do if on tomorrow, your bank account was injected with a commission of over $62,000. How many of you would be at church on Sunday talking about, oh, I'm just saying. Well, that's what we have available. And so as Mr. Newman alluded to, if you think the travel's on trial tonight, just go to the local airport in your city and see if people are traveling. See, because we have people say this to us, Jackie. Well, I don't travel that much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't eat pet food. But do you know that Perina is still a million and billion dollar business? So do you understand that the owner of, of some ha uh, hamburger spots don't eat beef? But that, that because you don't do it doesn't mean the world doesn't do it. And see, what you want to understand in business is see, if it's something that you like, you should make that your hobby. But if it's something that the world engages in, you should make that your business. And how many of you know just by commenting in the comment section, how many of you have ever been to an airport and you've been the only passenger traveling? Type that in the comment section. Have you ever been to the airport and you've been the only person traveling? Just type that answer in the comment section. I'll see some of y'all responding, right? So it's not whether you do it or not, but other people are doing it. And hopefully you'll do it more because we actually have the ability for us to go on some educational trips. Myself and Mr. Newman, we run but we also participate in several professional developments as principals. The same is true for us here in travel, but our professional development looks like other people's vacation. And so we wanna share with you some of our educational experiences that are available if you participate here with this business. Mr. Newman, share with us the educational opportunities that exist for us here with travel. Oh, most definitely. Guys, we had the opportunity, right, to have fun learning while we're earning. We get to educate ourselves, right, by experiencing the travel from a client's perspective. So we get to go on what we call familiarization trips, right? And if you want to be an intelligent travel professional, you have to go on some of these trips. Look, it's hard work, Mr. Goins, but somebody has to do it. I remember uh, we went on one of our first uh, familiarization trips. Uh, I was with my wife, you was with yours. We had the opportunity to go and learn about a Club Med resort in Punta Cana. We got to go there and, and stay in their uh, one of their top of the line units. We had a private pool. We had a private part of the beach. All the water activities and events on the beach were free. Matter of fact, they told us, leave your wallet in the safe. They took us on a a tour of that property. Uh, we, we went over a, 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 a resort review for about 60 minutes and then went on another 60 minute tour and the rest of the time was spent enjoying the amenities. I mean, we had to go and test out the spa, right? Somebody had to do it to make sure that the, the rocks were the right temperature for the massage, right? We had to go and make sure that the bartender was making the drinks correctly, the ones with and without umbrellas, right? And so guys, we got to enjoy a five star, five, <laughs> I saw that, a five star resort 
We had someone stocking our unit with our favorite snacks, our favorite beverages. We had a shower as big as my bedroom here at home. And I mean, you could live in that shower, okay? And guess how much? $149. So for pennies on the dollar, we had the opportunity and go and learn all about this particular vendor and resort so that we could better educate our clients. But we just went on one recently, Mr. Goins. Man, it was hard work. I'm, I'm talking about uh, an 11 resort tour sponsored by Apple Vacations. We had an opportunity to, again, take our wives because they are also agents. They're travel professionals along with us. And we went to Breathless Resort, right? We went to Secrets Resort, right? We went to some of the top of the line, five-star resorts. Imagine that seaweed wrap massage, right? To make sure you get all the toxins out. We had to experience that, right? Playing volleyball volleyball in the water, you know, and, and you know, we, we, me and Mr. Goins were battling. I'm, I'm gonna give him this one, his team won this time. But we got an opportunity to earn and learn at the same time. And guess what? Five nights at a five-star hotel in Mexico, and we got to visit some of the best resorts on the planet, $199. It doesn't get better than that, guys. We, we have, we, we sell recess. That's what we sell. We have the opportunity to have fun doing what we do. As a matter of fact, our job in the travel arena looks like most people's daytime, I mean, their, their vacation, right? So our hard work looks like most people's vacations and they have the audacity to pay us for it. Mr. Goins, what are your thoughts about that? Um, it was hard work. Uh, Mr. Norman, we had to put suntan lotion on to sit under the sun uh, so that we didn't get, you know, burnt by the, the rays of, you know, the glimmering sun as it protruded through the clouds. Oh, watch out. And rained down so that we can sit and understand if I sent a client here, would they enjoy, they enjoy themselves to the level that I'm experiencing this glee? Like, how many of you talk about your job like that? That's what we do for a living. And we simply enjoy it. And so how many of you, let me just ask this question. How many of you would literally love to get away from your coworkers and boss for four to five days and literally pay fraction of a cost in pennies on a dollar. Anybody would be open to get away. I'm just saying it's available. But how about being able to just travel even locally and save on what you're doing? Huge, right? But on top of that, we have guarantees. So you do understand that your company doesn't offer guarantees. The only guarantee is that they're gonna work you hard. But our company offers three guarantees. The first one is the best travel price guarantee. The company says if you book a package for a friend, family, or client, and they find it anywhere cheaper within seven days, they will meet the price, beat the price, or pay 110% of the difference in a travel voucher for their next vacation. That's huge. Most companies only match at the time of booking. We give you seven days, but it must be apples to apples, oranges to oranges. The second one is a 30-day money-back guarantee. Ms. Thornton, we say give us a test drive. Get behind the wheel. Find out what's available. And if you find out within 29 and a half days, that the trips are too exotic and the income is overflowing your bank account, you can walk away, no questions asked. And the third one is a never heard of in the industry. It is a game changer. The company says, if you actively work your business for a 12 month calendar year, simply meaning you're in pursuit of a profit, if you have not saved or made more than it costs you to run your business, they will cut you a check for the difference. So worst case scenario, Jackie, you're going to break even. Where else in business do they offer that? Nowhere. You don't even have to look. Nowhere. In traditional brick and mortar businesses, they tell you do not expect to see a profit for three to five years. But our company says we're going to change that paradigm. We're going to ensure that after your first 12 months, that worst case, you're back to where you started. So what have they done? They've taken all the fear, doubt, and unbelief out of the equation. And so now you're able to operate with freedom. That's huge. And here's what I want you to know. When Mr. Newman called me and he shared this with me, 
I said, man, I'm gonna have to save up for this. This got to be a thousand dollars because of the value that he had just shared with me. He said, absolutely not. I said, what? He said, no, that's too much. I said, it's gonna be 500. Do I need to get a couple paychecks? He said, no. I said, well, what is it? He said, simply for $179, you can own your own home-based travel agency. Not a travel club, but your own travel agency. Huge difference, right? Simply $39 a month to own and operate that business on a day-to-day, week-to-week, and month-to-month basis. We're talking about $1.50 a day to run and operate a million-dollar business, have partnerships with all the major vendors and travel, be able to secure and put together uh, trips for people all around the globe and generate commissions. Absolutely huge. And understand, ladies and gentlemen, that now you are a travel business owner. You're not a travel club member. So there is a huge difference in what we have and the value that we bring to the table, right? So not only that, but guess what? You get to say on the things that you're doing. They offer customer support, commission tracking, sales and marketing material, just tremendous on and on and on. And so let me just stop and ask this question. How many of you would agree that the travel simply makes sense? Okay, thank you, Valerie. Belinda, I see you, okay. All right, April. All right. So several of you say the travel makes sense. Perfect. Right. So here's what I want you to know. If you knew there was something good, how many of you would share it? If you knew you had found something good, how many of you would share it with your friends, family, maybe your colleagues, if you like them at work, right? Okay. Several of you. Okay. Perfect. Here's what I know. As we talked about in the beginning, Not only do we get to book travel, but we also get to share it with other individuals so that they can benefit the way we do. And as Mr. Newman alluded to, we call that network marketing or referral marketing. So we're going to put on our principal hats for a moment so that we can educate before we inform. How many of you on the line with us tonight do not like to sell? How many? If you're like me, you don't like to sell. Who's with me? Okay, Francesca, I see you. Sharon, okay, oh, Beverly, you with me? All right. Okay, several, okay, perfect. April, Crystal, not me, perfect. But here's what I wanna ask, because if you're like me, I ain't like to sell. But someone asked me this question, and he said, I want you to think around what you're talking about in terms of sales in a different way. And so that was huge for me, right? Here's what I want you guys to think around. And if this applies, I need you to say, guilty. Are everybody ready? For all my folks on the line that do not like to sell, how many of you have ever referred someone to a good restaurant? Come on now, tell the truth. If you've ever referred someone to a good restaurant, I see you, Yvonne, guilty. Mm -hmm. Jack, Beverly, you said you don't like to sell, but you're referring people? Come on, Sharon. You were, come on. Belinda, you too? No, don't, Belinda, I had hope in you, Belinda. Bridget, no, Bridget, come on, Bridget. You said you did not like to sell. Why do I bring that point up? Because all of us are selling something. We just don't recognize that it sells. All a sale is this transfer of the emotion from one person to the next. So when you went to that restaurant, you ate that great food, Bridget. When you came out, you told somebody. They said, girl, where's a great place to eat in Dallas? Where's a great place to eat in Florida? You told them. But the next time you went to that restaurant, did they give you a discount? Absolutely not. But you refer, how many people have you referred to that restaurant? Hundreds. How many of you have referred someone to your beautician, your barber? How many of you got married off a referral? Come on now. So we do it all the time. Now when someone says, I want to compensate you for your efforts, we get weird. We say, no, I don't want to do that. Or or are you saying you only want to sell for free? Hmm. The things that make you say, hmm. So our company that we're going to share with you on tonight 
We're going to first give you a little bit more information because when most people hear the word network marketing, we cringe because not only are we uninformed, we're underinformed. And so we don't know, and we've never went to find out. So Mr. Newman, give us some background around the industry of network marketing or those Ponzi schemes, which we really don't know where that came from, but me and you did the research, right? So, you know, those things that you say, is it one of those things? So Mr. Newman, bring some clarity around this, this industry called network marketing or referral marketing for those people who just may not know. Well, it's very simple, Mr. Goins. It's just a better way. It's a different business model, right? And so most of us have a job and that's one way. It's not the only way. You know, we look, when we looked at the research of network marketing, it showed that it has created more six-figure earners than any other model on the planet, right? And so when you're talking about the average individual being able to have the opportunity to generate that type of income, that's huge. See, in our study, Mr. Goins, we also found out that less than 5% of Americans even generate a six-figure income. And let me say this, for a long time, we've only thought that six figures meant $100,000. Do you understand that six figures goes up to $999,000, right? There's a large span uh, in the six figure realm. And so what better way, this model, this business model allows us to use what we call leverage to generate another wealth strategy and principle that we call residual income. So in network marketing, understand that you get paid based on your network, right? That determines your net worth. So if me and Mr. Goins bring our skill set together, we're leveraging the talents, right, of each other in order to generate income. We get to work together. So instead of that crabs in the barrel mentality, Mr. Goins, we went and bought the barrel of crabs and we're helping people get out, right? And so this is how it works. Because a lot of people, when they see this model, they say, oh, is that a pyramid? Well, what is a pyramid? What do you mean by that? Well, you know, only the people at the top make all the money? Not so. Number one, understand this. Pyramids are illegal. They're not, they're not, they're not legal. That is when individuals will have you buy into an opportunity with the claims that you'll make all of your money, right? And they're all your money back plus some, and there's no real product. There's no product being exchanged. The only thing that's being exchanged is money with the promise and hope of, right? And so understand this, that no million, billion dollar industry, well, excuse me, no million dollar or billion dollar company would partner, right, with something that was illegal. Would Marriott partner with something that was illegal? Not at all. Would Carnival, who we're the number one sellers for that particular brand, would they partner with something that was a, a pyramid scheme or illegal? Not at all. And what I love about that is this, we are rated by one of the most reputable companies on the planet whose sole job is to let consumers know if a company is reputable or not. We have an A plus rating, right? By the Better Business Bureau, right? They don't rate pyramids, right? They only rate legitimate businesses and corporations. So that's huge for you to know. Mr. Goins talked about Ponzi schemes. So we looked it up. Hey, where did that come from? That statement come from? It is actually named after an individual named Ponzi, right? Who went out, Mr. Goins, and was convincing people to invest in a financial investment, right? That's when you get people to, you know, a Ponzi scheme is when you have people to invest in something that's not real. Usually it's stocks, it's bonds. It may be a real estate opportunity. They're promising you, oh, this stock is going to double, it's going to triple. This real estate investment is the best on the planet. You're going to get all this money back. And so they give, they get everyone to give all this money and there's no proof. There's no tangible, again, nothing tangible to see, just the promise of, and again, it's just the exchange of money. What we have here is very different. We have a bona fide product. They're called travel agencies. We sell them. We help people get started. And then they use what we call leverage, Mr. Goins. And I'm going to break this down real simple for you guys. If you were a beautician, right, 
You have the opportunity to do hair. You get paid whenever you have a client sit in your seat. You generate income every time somebody sits down, right? But if you don't have a client, that income becomes if come, right? But guess what? If you were a beauty salon owner and you had 20 different individuals doing hair in your salon, you don't necessarily have to have a, a client personally because you've leveraged, right? You've created a team of beauticians and you get a piece every time somebody has a client. Same thing with real estate, since we use the agent language. If you're a real estate agent, buy and sell properties, you make money. You don't have any properties to sell or buy, you don't make any money. But if you're a, a, a real estate broker and you have agents underneath you, you get a piece every time a property is bought and sold. So here we are in the travel industry, utilizing a better model called network marketing. I'm a travel agent. I can make money when I buy and sell travel for myself and other people. But how smart is it to have a team of travel agents and have the opportunity that everyone that I personally share this opportunity with, I can get a piece every time they book travel. I can get compensated every month that you are actively selling travel and you're on my team. That's just called great business. You name me a successful team, Mr. Goins, in the sporting arena. You name me a successful company in the industry, in any industry on the planet. You show me an individual who is wealthy, I'll show you an individual who, one, created a, a large network or team for that product. And then two, I'll show you an individual who used leverage and opened up different distribution centers to generate wealth. Because it's not just one Walmart in the world. Walmart is everywhere. It's not just one McDonald's in the world. There's a McDonald's everywhere. And that's called a clue. Mr. Goins, chime in and tell me your thoughts on what we're talking about. Well, you know, I, I think it's definitely smart. Um, and I just have to be transparent with you. Uh, I was underinformed the same way some of you may have been. Uh, but I, I had to take the time to sit and learn what I didn't learn. Uh, and I have a college degree, went to the illustrious Howard University. And so you can rep your university down there in the comment section, right? But through my years of going through my collegiate career, they were telling you get a degree so that you can go get a job, right? And we recognize that J-O-B simply just means just over broke or the juggling of the bills, right? But they are not teaching people to go out and create wealth. They teach you how to go create income. There's a difference. There's a different mindset between someone who is wealthy and someone who's just collecting a paycheck. Someone who's getting profits over someone who's earning wages. It is very different. Very, a very different between a W-2 and a 1099. Very different. And so I had to know and be honest with myself that I did not know what I did not know. Because as I've stated to you, Myself and Mr. Newman are going into our, you know, into almost 25 years of being in education. And how many of you know that with that, we're still not wealthy? And I don't know if that's the case for you. You know, you may have been in a situation where, you know, your job is, is paying you quite lucratively and you've been able to do all the things you desire to do. You've been able to pay off student loan debt. You've been able to take care of the kids. You've got college tuition set aside. Uh, and that income you're receiving is going to set your family up for generations to come. You know, when you walk away, when you transition from here, you're going to be able to leave something for your family. My job just does not have that. And so I was looking for something. And I, I was making six figures, Mr. Newman, when you called me. But I know that six figures on paper is not what was coming into my home. And so I needed to supplement that 33% that that uncle was taking that I never saw. And literally in the two and a half years we've been here with this project, I make more money part-time, ladies and gentlemen, than I make full-time. And I've been with this company only two and a half years, and I've been an educator, as I told you, going into 21 years. And so when two and a half years can eclipse 21, it's simply called a clue. And all we're doing is sharing with people an opportunity for you to do the same. And our company simply will pay you $50 for every referral. So think of it this way. 
What if every time you sent someone to that restaurant that you referred them to, Beverly, that they gave you a free meal? How many of you know you would go stand at the church let out and pass out flyers and tell everybody that the fellowship hall had moved over to that restaurant because you will be stocking up on free meals? Well, that's what we have available. You can share this with as many people as you like. There's a young lady that's joining us on Facebook Live right now, a titan in this game, Ms. LaVonda Thornton. That young lady personally has sponsored over 100 people, personally helped over 100 families get out of the week to week, paycheck to paycheck living. Because we're in a project that says there's no limit to the amount of people that you can speak to. How many of you would be love to be a part of a, part, a company or a project that said you had unlimited income potential. Huge. Be part of a company that does not say you can work for 100%, but we'll pay you on 50. We're gonna pay you off everything. So let me just give you an analogy. So Mr. Newman shared this information with me. He knew we were both principals. We had talked about that we were looking for something different. He knew that I was already traveling. I was already going on several trips with my fraternity, so shout out to all the members of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated joining us tonight and all the Divine Nine, the Deltas, the Sorors that are on tonight, you know, the Kappas, the Alphas, the Sigmas, the AKAs, the Zetas, the G SG Rose, everybody join. If you got it, if you're on a Divine Nine, in order for you to be active, Mr. Newman, it requires you to travel. <clears throat> so if you're in the Divine Nine, if you're an Eastern Star, if you're a Masonic, if you're in the church choir, if you're on the usher board, if you go to the faith-based conferences, it requires you to travel. So if you're going to do it anyway, why not get yourself, <coughs> <coughs> it's so good, I'm getting choked up. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's how good it is. But if it's going to happen anyway, get yourself in the way. So Mr. Newman, talk about some other streams of income that come along with this as well. Yeah, go, go ahead and get yourself together, brother. <laughs> Look, he's choked up because we have the opportunity to help so many people, guys. So in addition to that $50 uh, that the company pays us for referring other individuals. So for example, uh, like he said, I shared this with Mr. Goins. He went out and shared it with 80 plus people who are currently actively generating income from home. The company paid him $50 every time he shared this with those individuals. Now, because I was the one that brought him to the table, the company said, you know what? We wanna reward you too, Mr. Newman. We're gonna give you a 50% match. So every time he made 50, the company paid me 25. Won't he do it, right? That's when I was just saying, go Damien Goins, go, right? You know, cheering him on, helping him build his business. But here's the thing, did Mr. Goins get upset? When the company sent me a $25 check right after they sent him a $50 check, not at all. We gave each other a high five and said, hey, let's both go do it again, right? And so we said, hey, let's go help some other people and show them how to do the same thing. And so, guys, that is huge. And I don't get excited about the $25. I get excited about the 50% match because if Mr. Goins goes out this week and makes 1000 how much would they pay me? 500 if he goes out and makes 2000 what are they going to pay me? 1000 He goes out and makes a fortune. What are you going to pay me? Half a fortune, right? And so we're excited about this opportunity because it forces you to help people. And see, if you don't mind helping people, helping them grow as individuals, helping them grow as an entrepreneur, helping them grow inside of this travel profession, sky is the limit, but it gets better. You can see as we build and grow this network of travel agents, as we begin to open all of these travel agencies, these distribution centers across the world, the company's gonna pay us an additional stream of income. So here's where we move from that leveraged income that I talked about to that residual income that I talked about. Because see, I wanna get paid for work you know, I did in 2015. And this opportunity allows us to do that. Work that Mr. Goins and I did in 2015, we're still getting paid for it today. That's the type of opportunity you want to be involved in. That's a wealth strategy. You bought your phone one time, but how many times you pay that bill? You pay it every month, right? Somebody is making residual income off your one-time purchase. 
And so that is what we have here. The company has the audacity that once you've helped at least nine people partner with this opportunity, they're going to start paying you, right? They're going to start paying you additional income every time. And then when you have people who pay to keep their travel agency active every month, they're going to pay you $4 per person. So imagine having 500 people on your team that you're helping become travel professionals and they pay you $2,000 a month in residual income as long as that person was open for business, right? What if that team, it took you two years to get that team to about 1,000 people, right? And they're now paying you $4,000 a month just because they're open. There's no quotas, right? Outside of the the overhead that we spend, there's no hidden fees or anything like that. It is predictable income. A thousand people on your team, that's a $4,000 payout over time. And here's the question I will ask you. On your job right now, does your employer give you the opportunity to generate that type of residual income? Can you give yourself a raise based on how hard you work? See, one of the things me and Mr. Goins realized is that we, we get paid for eight hours every day, but we often work hard for 10, 12, in some days, more than 12 hours a day, but yet our paycheck remains the same. Very grateful and thankful for the pay that we get, but understand this, if I'm going to work hard, I'm going to work harder, I want to be able to put myself in a position that I get paid for it. And that's what we have here. See, this one stream of income that Mr. Goins has built and I have built, we call it a matrix when we're building this team. It actually is enough money that it pays all of our household bills. It pays our car notes. It pays, Mr. Goins has paid off several student loans. That's right. You got the student loan mafia chasing you. We got the student loan mafia killer. Right? Right here before you today. So, um, That's just a little information that you can get back with the person who referred you on the line tonight to see how that really works. But just imagine for every person on your team, the company pays you this income every single month. But then it gets better than that, guys, because we have um, another program that that we consider our retirement strategy. And I'm going to let Mr. Goins share this with you. But as your team grows, again, there's an additional stream of income that includes bonus pay. And I'm going to have Mr. Goins share that with you. Mr. Goins, share this retirement strategy that we're both so very excited about. And I'm excited that we have several individuals that are in this club uh, on the line uh, that have reached this pinnacle level in the company. Uh, And it's called our director program. Uh, And it is the envy of the industry. Uh, The company says when you grow your organization to 100 active agents, and that's not you alone. See, Mr. Newman went out and found a few people. I found a few people. They found a few. So... And, and I love it because here's where many people get it misconstrued or the miscommunication that gets passed down. It says, does that mean Mr. Money, Mr. Newman's making money off of you, Mr. Goins? No, he's not making money off of me. He's making money with me. See, he doesn't get a dime of my money. All of my money comes to me. Mr. Go- Mr. Newman gets a bonus from the company. Why would I struggle if he doesn't impact any of my earnings? And here's what I want each of you to think around. If you don't sign your checks at work, you recognize that someone is making money off of you, that your company bought your skills for wholesale and are reselling them for retail. So if that's your premise, you should go resign tomorrow. But here, when you hit directorship, the company says at 100 active people, we're going to pay you on top of all the other money. So we're not talking about travel commission. We're not talking about the $50 upfront. We're not talking about the 50% match. We're not talking about the sixth level of $10 team bonuses. We're not talking about the residual income that Mr. Newman talked about that exceeds six figures on a monthly basis when it's matured to its full capacity. We're not talking about the 10% overrides for travel. We're not talking about the 10% overrides for the matrix. We're not talking about any of that other income. On top of all of that, another stream, and if you were probably counting, we're probably on the eighth stream of income. The company will begin paying you on the first of every month an additional $500 stipend. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a $6,000 raise. The question I want you to ponder and consider is what do you have to do on your current job to get a $6,000 raise? See, there are several directors that are are joining us tonight that are benefiting 
from this illustrious bonus. It's huge. A $6,000 raise. See, the first used to mean bills, Mr. Newman. It now means bonus. How many of you would love an extra $500 on the first of every month to hit your home? If you would, just put me in the comment section so we know that you're someone that recognizes that extra income would change your situation. Would you pay off, as he said, the student loan? Would it take care of daycare? Could you take your car note off the table? Because understand that that bonus is not one time, Mr. Newman. They pay it on the first of every month as long as you have 100 active agents. They don't have to sell anything. There's no quotas, as you said, no inventory. It's huge. There's no product stacking up in your garage. There's nothing in your living room. There's no airplane that's going to park in your back garage and your backyard. We are in the sexiest industry on the planet. Then when that organization grows, as Mr. Newman's did, to over 300 people, and you become what we call a two-star director, do you know on the first of every month, he doesn't receive $500, ladies and gentlemen, but April, he receives $1,000. Do you recognize that's a $12,000 raise and just bonus money? How many of you would be open to an extra $12,000 this year? And Mr. Newman is vigorously working and very close. He's a stone throw away from hitting his next level, which is four, three star director. We, we project in his future, right? And at three star director, and we have some on the line with us tonight, we receive a $2,000 bonus to start the month. Ladies and gentlemen, that's $24,000 in just bonus money. Do you know that's more than some support staff and school buildings making a year? Our company is paying out in bonus money. And all of our, the three stars, including myself, are working vigorously to get to four star. And this is where the game gonna really change. Do you understand at four star, Ronald, that the bonus is $5,000 a month? Ladies and gentlemen, that's $60,000 a year in bonus money. And we've already had some families that have hit that level. What would you do if an extra $5,000 in bonus money hit your account on the first of every month? Would it change your zip code? Would it cause you to take care of all the medical bills for your aging parents? Would you be able to take care and know that your child's college tuition would be secured? What would you be able to do? And then at Five Star, which we only have two individuals that have hit that level, and which is key, and I'll share with you why that's important in a minute. But do you understand at Five Star Director, the company pays out a bonus of $10,000? to start the month. And there are two individuals that have already hit that. But our compensation plan, our director program goes to nine star. Why is that key that we only have two individuals at five? Because some other companies may tell you and they're gonna share with you people who have maxed out their compensation plan. Ladies and gentlemen, if that's the case, it's already come and passed. But our company is less than three years old. How many of you know that timing and positioning is key? See in real estate, they talk about location, location, location. But in this industry, it's about timing and positioning and also your product. We have travel. Travel's not going anywhere. It's here to stay. But the other piece is we are at what we call the sweet spot. Let me just say this to you. How many of you know that if you would have invested in Apple when they had the iPhone one, your finances would look different today? So understand that who we are as a company, we haven't even hit what is called momentum in the industry. We haven't even got our full swing. So if you ever hear saying to yourself, if I could have been there at the beginning, guess what? You no longer have to make that claim because now you're here and you're now getting the information. What are you going to do with it? And so to add this on to do the marketing is simply $19 to start $19 a month. So we're talking total, Mr. Newman, less than a $200 investment, $199.90. One time initial enrollment fee, get set up, customer support, commission tracking, marketing, training, on and on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's less than the cost of your smartphone, unless you got the flip phone, right? To buy two for one. But you pay several hundred dollars for a smartphone, you pay probably about an 80 to $100 bill a month to keep it active and on. But what is it allowing you to do in terms of bringing income in? That $200 investment, Mr. Newman has turned around and allowed me to change my zip code. 
as you said, has allowed me to pay off some student loans. It's allowed me to do some things for my parents that I otherwise would not have been able to do because of this opportunity. And all we're sharing with you tonight is we want it to be possible for you. And so for, as I said, $199, $59 a month, less than $2 a day. So if you're a coffee drinker, how many of you would love to put down your cup of coffee and pick up a business? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. And I love it because we have people that are willing to stand behind you and push you to success and not just stand there and watch you and leave you on the island by yourself. But well, Mr. Newman, some people may say, hey, sounds good, looks good. But what if I decide that it's not for me right now? What would they be missing? And what is it that we know that they may not know, but we don't want them to miss it? We have something called a pledge <clears throat> and it's huge. And it, it's actually a game changer. Um, it's one of the part pieces of our project that's the most meaningful to me. And, you know, there's a book that I read, Mr. Goins, that says that I'm supposed to leave an inheritance for my children and my children's they children. They may not know, but right? we don't want them to miss it. I think we got an echo. Put mute on your phone for me. And so, and it's huge. And it, it's actually a game changer. Um, it's one of the part pieces of our project that's the most meaningful to me. Hit mute. I hear a double echo. You know, there's a book that I read, Mr. There we go. All right. So like I was saying, there's a book that I read that says I'm supposed to leave an inheritance for my children's children. And see, a lot of times we look at life insurance as that inheritance, right? If, if something happens to me, there's this lump sum of money that's paid out one time uh, that's supposed to be a blessing to my family. But with most families, they're fighting over it, right? Because it's a one-time payment. With this project, ladies and gentlemen, not only do we get to enjoy the income uh, while I'm here, but God forbid if something happens to me, because I've hurt, hit a certain level within our opportunity, the company says this, God forbid something happens to Nathan, we're going to continue to allow all of his income, the direct commissions, the bonus money, the residual income, everything, that money that has now superseded the income that's coming in from my full-time job. If that should happen, this money will continue to come to his next of kin or his beneficiary. And let me tell you why that's huge. Because on my job, even though they may love me, they may shed a tear. But guess what's gonna stop coming into the house if I pass away? My salary. And after that one-time income of insurance, no more money is coming into my home. But here now, even if something happens to me and my wife, my children get this income. It's willable. And I don't have to die for them to inherit you know, this, this life-changing income. We're enjoying it now and it's gonna be here after I pass. That's huge for me, Mr. Goins. It gives me a comfort in knowing that I'm working hard and it's not in vain. We're gonna enjoy it while I'm here, but they're gonna enjoy it for years to come, God forbid, if something happens to me. So that's huge, Mr. Goins. And it's what we call legacy insurance. Forget life insurance, we're talking about legacy insurance. And so with that, Mr. Goins, I'm going to throw it to you to close this out. But guys, uh, we definitely want to shout out those individuals who are launching tonight because they invited you on this line, not to get your money, but it was to get your partnership. Mr. Goins. So as he said, ladies and gentlemen, that $200 has changed. As you see several people, if you're joining us either on Zoom or on Facebook Live, if this opportunity has helped change your life, just put change in the comment section so people see that what we're sharing is not just verbiage, it's not hype, uh, it's information that can change their situation. And we want them to know that it's not just happening for myself and Mr. Newman, uh, but it is happening for hundreds of people and thousands of people across this, this planet, right? And so on tonight, you heard some information and now it's time for you to make a decision. Uh, am I gonna fight for my family or am I gonna let my situation be the same as it was two or three years ago? right? Because if you look back on your life, where were you five years ago? Did you think that where you are today was the epitome of what you had planned to do? Where will you be over the next five years? See, many of you may say, oh, it looks good, sounds good, but it's not for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, find something that is and, and ride it to the wheels fall off. But we understand where this company is going, what this company is going to do is the leadership, the compensation, the product. All the I's have been dotted, all the T's have been crossed. 
we are poised and positioned to be a juggernaut in this industry. And the person that invited you simply wants your partnership. They understand what's available and they want it to be available for you. And so if that's you, get back with them. Let them know that you're ready to lock arms with them. Or you may be a person that says, hey, I love what I've heard, but I have one or two questions that I need to get cleared up so that I can make an informed decision. And so with that, uh, either one, get back with the person that invited you, let them know where you stand, and they'll know how to proceed with you. And so on behalf of Mr. Newman and myself, we will see you at one of two places, on the beaches of the world or at the bank. But hopefully we will see you at both. Have a great rest of your evening on purpose. Be blessed and take charge.